Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. My name is Dr. Scott Campbell. I work for the Suffolk County Health Department. I'm a laboratory chief for the Arthropod Born Disease Laboratory. Mosquitoes are better when it comes to letting you know that you're being bitten. Ticks are, are a little more stealthier. You know, they, they can get in underneath your clothing and start to feed and you may not even know that you're being bitten. But what they do is they quest, they actually will sit on vegetation and put their front legs out and wait for something to come by and they latch on. They don't drop from trees, they don't jump. So if you find a tick in your hair, it got there two ways. One is it, it got crawled up there or you placed it there. You had it on your hand and you scratched your head and, and you placed it there. That's the only way they get up there. Um, unless you're rolling around in the grass. There are several ways to create a barrier. The first easy way is clothing. I have long pants on. I'm gonna tuck my pant legs in my socks. My t-shirt is tucked into my pants. So the ticks can't get into those areas. Button up shirt, between each button there's an opening and the ticks can crawl into there. Any day where, that is above 40 degrees, you can have exposure. So a warm winter day, and the weatherman says it's 36 degrees out, right? Well, it's not. 40, but you may have a south facing slope that's lit up with the sun and right there it's 40 degrees. So they will be active on that side of the, the, the slope. The lightness of the clothing allows you to see the ticks when they're on you and you can look, you know, do periodic tick checks while you're outside. When you go in, you take your clothing off, you throw it in the dryer. The one thing ticks don't like is dryness. They dry out pretty easily. Put it on medium to high heat for 10 minutes. Anything that's on that clothing are, are dead. Now you want to check your body. Where ticks like to go are tight areas, areas where they feel safe. The uh, waistband uh, of your underwear. They can enter through the sleeves, check your armpits, you check your groin area, you check behind your knees. The best way to remove a tick that's attached is using a pair of tweezers and just getting as close to the skin as possible and pulling it straight out. You don't treat it with anything because it aggravates them and, you, and what happens is all the pathogens that cause uh, tick-borne diseases are in the gut and you don't want to aggravate them to the point where they may vomit or, th or throw up in the, in the site. Put it in a little jar with rubbing alcohol. One, that'll kill it. And the other thing is now you have the specimen. In case you feel, become ill, you can take that to your physician. You also have to remember that you may have ticks in your yard. And that's probably where most people put their guard down. The drier a lawn is, the, the less hospitable it is for ticks. You want to think about how often you water it and how long you keep the grass. It's a balance. You don't want your grass to look like the Sahara, but you, you also don't want it to be so lush and green that it's easy for ticks to survive there. If you like to wear shorts, there are two products that you can use. One is a permethrin product. You put this on clothing that you're not wearing. You can wash it up to like six times without having to reapply it. This is something that you can use on clothing, but you can also use this on the skin. You have to reapply it after every washing. If you want more information on mosquito and tick-borne diseases, go to Suffolk County Department of Health Services website.